So then when it came to all this, there was a report in there about two characters, about Superman and Ma Martian Manhunter. That's right. Martian Manhunter was part of this, too, when it came to this. Um, and uh, when it came to this report right here, um, it's pretty crazy because it says, like, in the report by Rolling Stone regarding the behind-the-scenes conflicts of Zack Snyder's Justice League, on uh, one argument arose on the status of Martian Manhunter. Sources say that the character was not in the original script, which we know that. It was supposed to be Jon Stewart Green Lantern. But guess what? Warner Brothers was like, nah, you can't do that. Jeff Johns was like, nah, you can't do that. Green Lantern's my thing, bud. Sorry, you can't do it. And he fought tooth and nail. And then he even was like shot the scene in his driveway, but then realized like, okay, if I put that in there, they're going to take the whole film away. And that's not good for, you know, he wasn't thinking about himself. But it says right here too, it's like sources say that the character was not originally in the script and the studio was blindsided by the inclusion. Warner Brothers executive Walter Hamada, cocksucker, reportedly requested Martian Manhunter to be removed from the film as they had different plans for the character. What plans? What plans? Have we heard anything about Martian Manhunter? Okay. There was a Green Lantern show and a movie that got announced. Have we heard any update about that anytime lately? No, no, no. That fucking show is done, by the way. There's no way that show is coming out. Okay. It got a, it's been like over a year. There's no way that fucking show is coming out. But did anybody hear anything about Martian Manhunter? No. Nobody heard anything about Martian Manhunter. Um, and they had a different plan. So the character Snyder reportedly threatened to delete other footage of uh, if he uh, was not allowed to include the character. Something tells me that was a little bit of uh, some BS right there. I'm just saying. And uh, thank you, Uche, again for the, uh, the $5 super chat. Zach actually told me that uh, that it was Green Lantern, not Martian Manhunter, that we were, they were mad about. Exactly. So they got the fundamental facts wrong. Martian Manhunter was never in the discussion. Exactly. Exactly. But I wouldn't be surprised if behind the scenes that maybe they were like, fuck that. We don't want that. But in comes Jason Kylar. In comes Jason Kylar, guys. And I know some people turned on him. The fandom, some of the fandom turned on Jason Kylar. And, uh, you know, when it came to his whole day and date, releasing that happened you know he was trying to be like hey you know this is the solution right here with the whole pandemic some of us were like hey maybe that's a good idea and it uh, turned out maybe it wasn't the best of ideas but hey what can you do what green lantern plans where what martian lantern plans what a joke green lantern plans well they had green lantern cores that was going to be written by jeff johns and then that was going to incorporate the show that they announced too but when it came to martian manhunter there was no fucking plans it's bullshit I don't know, to me, it's bullshit. But apparently when it came to Jason Kylar, he was totally behind like a lot of the decision making when it came to the Snyder Cut, when it came to releasing Zack Snyder's Justice League. He proved all that. It says Jason Kylar, then CEO of Warner Media, ruled in Snyder's favor and allowed Martian Manhunter to be included in the film. Interesting. I don't know how true that all is, but, you know, then it also came to Jason Kylar approving a lot of things when it came to HBO Max and the $70 million that Zach needed to finish the movie and all this kind of stuff. I mean, we heard, uh, what was that, Mr. Greenblatt, Greenbrat, Green, Green Brat, whatever the hell that guy's name was. He talked about it, too, like on a podcast when he was, like, there, too. But, but again, it's like, yeah, you know, maybe Jason Kylar wasn't the, 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 the right fit when it came to what was happening, but... We must thank Jason Kylar for being in Snyder's favor. <laughs> <laughs>